everybody. Welcome to my next audio blog of my of the My Two Cents series here on SC2K. Um, it's Monday morning, May 12th, as I record this. Um, I just want to say real quick, uh, my thoughts and prayers with Calback or Kovac or, or Calback and uh, I call her Calback. That's what she's used to. Uh, she don't care if I call her that. Calback and uh, everybody involved in the bad storms and tornadoes that hit Oklahoma. Um, you know she's okay, her family's okay, but uh, some people around there uh, lost their homes, and part of uh, Calb's home was damaged. So just keep her and her family in prayer, and help, and uh, pray that the house get rebuilt and everything. And so uh, I remember here in Waco, Texas, uh, we had a tornado. It was May fifth, May sixth, two thousand six, somewhere around there. Uh, we had a F two tornado. It didn't damage where I live at, thank God. So, uh, you know, God was with me on that day, on that night. It happened overnight, really. Uh, so, I, I mean, I've never really been in a, the worst of a tornado, but uh, thank God I haven't. But I, have, I know what it's like to be in an area where a tornado is touching down, and it's uh, a very scary situation. So, uh, keep your thoughts and prayers with Calvin and your family. Um, this week, uh, as I said last week, I'm going to start school, which I did on May 5th. Uh, first week of school, you know, it's not a big deal yet. First week of school is just uh, orientation, uh, the rules and the regulations of the classroom. Uh, and the first week was not bad. The only uh, I have two complaints about it, though. And I, Again, the school I go to uh, is just, it's, it's not the most professional, organized uh, school college ever um, it's just you know they mess up on a lot of things this don't work that don't work and I'm trying to get my textbooks and I'm using my uh, this thing called the tech one card which is not a credit card but it's, it's similar to it uh, all my student loans and all that stuff is charged on the card and uh, I, I use that financial aid to get my textbooks so I'm trying to get the textbooks last week I got one of them I need some more but you know their system is down or people that are using financial aid to get the books they can't because their system is down and only if you have cash or a credit card can you buy books um, and it was down for two days and I mean that's ridiculous some people have got to get their work done they can't procrastinate and there's due dates and deadlines to meet they gotta get that fixed I mean that school just had a whole buttload of problems I don't know how long I remember the fall semester of 2005. It was, uh, I've always called it the semester from hell. And uh, if I get through that semester, I passed all my courses except one, which is a course I didn't need anyway. Uh, it's a digital video course, which has nothing to do with web design. Uh, but I had to take it for some lame reason I don't feel like going into. Um, and what happened was I made a D at the course and. Uh, the law require or the TSDC policy, whatever requires you make a C or higher in your classes to get credit for that course. So all the hell I've been through in that course in particular and throughout the whole semester, uh, you know, I, the teacher could let me slide with a C. I mean, so that was ridiculous. But then I got exempt from the course when I took another course and passed it. So thank God I don't have to take that that class again. And uh, you know, last week. Um, you know, a simple week, orientation, all that stuff. Um, uh, well, oh yeah, fall 2005, that's right. That was the worst semester, not just for me, but it seemed like for a lot of people. Sadly, we lost a teacher who, who passed away due to a stroke. He was a real popular teacher and in the uh, digital media design department. Uh, his name was Mr. Torres. Uh, Angel Aguilar knows who he is. He, me and Angel uh, and Venom22 and, and Raven, we used to all go to the, the TSDC, which is where I'm going to. Saying they all know who he was, real popular teacher, real sad that he died. I didn't even know the guy, and I was sad that he died. <laughs> That's how popular he was. And, and, and that semester, he passed away of an un, untimely death of a sudden stroke. He was 39 years old, I think. Um, I know that has nothing. That's not TSCC's fault, but I'm just saying of the horrible semester stories that I've been through. And uh, that was the worst semester. Uh, that one was not didn't make anything better. Um, one day it was raining real hard, and like one of the classrooms, the the, the ceiling, uh, the rain started coming through the ceiling like a waterfall. It started land on, landing on the computers, 
getting the computers soaking wet. The whole floor and then the hallway of that building was wet. Classes had to be canceled because of that. Uh, what else? I had a brutal schedule. 15 credit hours in college. Uh, to some people who are overachievers, uh, that may not be nothing, but to people like me, uh, that's that's a lot of uh, college time. That's a lot of work. Um, and 8 o'clock classes in the morning. I was taking Flash, uh, the, the software Flash. Uh, I was not good at it, but I passed it for, through hard work and determination. Uh, and that's the, I give TSDC credit for one thing. The college orientation class that new students are supposed to take, uh, the lesson they taught me was school doesn't measure your, your intelligence. It measures how you apply yourself. And uh, I'm not saying I'm stupid, but I'm not one of those overachieving straight-A students throughout, the, throughout life uh, people. Um, you know, I'm not one of those. Uh, but that right there told me, you know, you don't have to be smart or a genius. Just simply study, do your work, turn it in on time, show up for work. I mean work. Show up for school. Do what you're supposed to do. Work hard. No matter what teacher you have and how horrible they are. You know, and me being a Christian, have, in my faith, I believe in God, you'll, you'll pass. And I've gotten this far using that philosophy. And uh, I had the pastor of my church pray for me this morning. Uh, he said, uh, you know, I told him, yeah, this is going to be a hard semester for me. He goes, not for you, it isn't. You know, trying to fill me up with confidence. And that makes me feel good, you know. And so uh, with him praying for me, I'm even more motivated to pass the course. And, uh, or the whole semester. And um, so... And let's see, uh, what else? The fall semester of 2005, uh, I passed all the courses except, I made an A in math, in basic math, what's called Math 050. It starts out as basic math, then it goes to fractions and decimals and percents, which I'm weak in math. That's my weak area. But through hard work and determination and, and help from a friend who was tutoring me, I made an A. Now keep in mind, before that, I, I took that course three times. Three straight times. I, I believe it was three straight times, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, three straight times. I took that course and I failed it. Or the uh, first time I dropped it, two times I believe I failed it. The fourth time I took it, I made an A. How about that? That, that was great. Um, and let's see. I made a D in that digital video which was pathetic and that teacher knew that's not my department that's not my major you know she could have let me slide which I guess maybe it, it don't matter now it's, it's in the past uh, I'm glad that I gotten this far and I'm glad that I'm going to graduate uh, TSDC in around the middle of August and uh, I've gotten this far and I'm not about to quit now I got these five classes left three online courses two any class uh, classes and so I got this far I'm not going to quit now and one of the classes that uh, I'm concerned about the most is called portfolio development it's where you work with a group and you as a group are working for a nonprofit organization in town and you're going to design logos for them poster uh, and all that stuff. Everybody has to contribute and come up with designs for the website or the, the public service announcement, uh, the the CD or whatever you know. Uh, and there's basically four instructors because in that class there's different uh, diversities of of uh, students. There's uh, the DMD major. D DMD stands for digital digital media design. Uh, MCI uh, media communication information. I guess is what it stands for. I don't know. Then you got the web students, which is me. I'm one of them. And so you got uh, four different teachers. One is a DMD teacher. The other, I think, two web teachers. Another one's MCI teacher. So, and then one of the teachers, which is the DMD teacher. Uh, you know, I mean, as a teacher, I know it's college. This is an elementary school where you're talking to little kids or whatever. But teachers are not supposed to really uh, scare the students, you know, I don't think she was, I don't know if she was trying to maliciously do that, but she was saying stuff like, uh, this class is hard, and if you have a fully loaded semester already, you're in trouble. I'm sitting there thinking, be quiet, you know, stop trying to scare us, are you trying to 
make us drop the course and, and give up on life or you know this ain't the army where you got to talk tough to us and uh, or whatever it's at the same time especially in a teacher uh you know in a college you're supposed to be professional and, and motivate the students not scare them make them th make them think they're going to fail i had one teacher uh, back in the spring of 2005 semester i was failing database and she was telling me ronnie you got to get on the ball man you're behind. If you get if you get behind one more week, you might as well drop. Because man, you're behind. You gotta get on the ball. I, that motivated me to pass right there, and I, I ended up making an A in the course and like a hundred and something on the midterm, and I got exempt from the final exam. Another teacher, uh, he, he's real motivational. Some some people think he's preachy. Um, I guess so. I can see that where people won't like that, but he's very most motivational. Like he'll say stuff like. Well, what is an A student? An A student is someone that shows up on time every day, turns in all work on time, and is blah, blah, blah. A B student, uh, almost the same way, but uh, I, I forgot how, exactly how he put it. You know, a C student does the minimum requirements to pass. He misses a lot of days, but still passes and all that stuff. And uh, he, was trying to, he wasn't trying to scare us, so he always felt filled us up with confidence, you know, saying... Uh, like it was one class we took. It was a beginner's class. It's like this class is so below you. You should be able to pass this course. It's not hard. All that stuff. And I understand a teacher being honest and saying, "Yeah, this class is going to be a lot of work. This class is going to be challenging." But don't let that get to you. Just do your work. Be on time. We have tutoring sessions. But this is supposed to be motivation like that. You're not supposed to say, "Oh, if you don't do your work, you're going to get fired." Uh, and you're not going to make it, you're a failure, and you're going to die, or whatever. <laughs> she didn't say that stuff, but, you know, I'm just exaggerating. But, you know, come on. You know, you ain't going to scare me. I've been through hell. I've been to hell and back at this school for nearly five freaking years. And, yes, it's a two-year college. And, yes, technically I should have graduated already. But due to setbacks, part of it's my fault, part of it's not. Uh Part of it is me slacking or dropping a few classes here and there. Another part of it is jobs shutting down the at the weekend before the semester uh, and just ruining your course, your timeline to graduate. That's you know that's fine. Uh, that's in the past. This is the semester where my financial aid has gone through. All my classes I've, uh, I'm currently enrolled in and registered for. Uh, I'm going to pass them on and graduate. And, uh, you know, I've been through worse semester. Uh, well, this semester has begun. I can't judge the semester how it's been, but uh, I've been through horrific semesters and I got through them. So I'm going to get through this one, too. So, again, if you don't see me that much on SD2K or not doing that much videos, uh, you know why I'm concentrated on school. You know, I almost have to eat, sleep, and breathe school 24 7, almost. You know, to study. And to make absolutely sure I'm going to graduate, show the teachers I am working hard, you know. And yeah, I ha I've always had this little fear of, and other pe other students, uh, lots of students actually have this fear. They're close to graduating and they're like, whoa, I don't remember much of what I learned. You know, it's that's normal. I mean, not everybody's a gifted talent that can remember everything like uh, Rain Man or have a f super photographic memory. You know, even when the teachers up there told me, Lots of people feel that way. They don't remember what they learned, but you go back, and when you graduate and study, and some of it come back to you, and, and keep practice, practicing and practicing, and then you all start to remember it, you know. Uh, so there you go. And first week of school, you know, those are two complaints. Not being able to get my textbooks, and then the teacher, I don't know, trying to put fear in my heart or whatever, it ain't going to work with me. Okay, I mean, yeah, deep down I'm nervous, but I'm not going to let all these negative thoughts, and, oh, I'm going to fail, and no. Uh, because if I do that, then I am going to fail, and I'm going to be too nervous and, to concentrate on my schoolwork and everything. So uh, that was week one at TSDC. Week two is coming up. Um, and so there you go. That's pretty much my uh, two cents for this week. Uh, God bless y'all. Good night. Uh, and again, this is the last time I'm going to say this. Please, somebody else post up a video blog or audio blog other than me. It's boring. I want to hear other people's two cents. Just keep it clean and appropriate. Uh, and I posted the new hot seat thread video blog style come on guys I mean come on you know please make this forum more fun I understand you got stuff to do uh, you're busy or whatever but uh, part of me tells me you know some of you are being a little bit lazy
or, or if you really are busy, then I, I apologize. I'm busy too. I know what it's like, but I just want to encourage y'all because it would be more fun if more people contribute. If you're honestly busy, I understand that. But if you're just being lazy, don't maybe get Swindoll to get on the mic and get on you and active members. Okay? Because as you know, it's not pretty with Swindoll. Uh, oh, yeah. Before I go, um, last week I talked about Smoky Bones, my old job, one year anniversary of it shutting down. Earlier today when I was taking a nap, I had a dream about it that I was in the building because right now they're actually working on the building. They're redesigning it. It's going to be a new restaurant called Rita's and Fajitas. Yeah, there you go. Um, but it might be good, so we have to check it out. Uh, and I had a dream that I was in the building. and uh, I have weird dreams. I, I, I don't understand the logic of everything in my dreams, but it was a nostalgic dream to be in that building again. And, and as soon as that building opens, I just want to go in there. I, I love Mexican food anyway. I love Mexican food, so I'll go in there and check it out. And But the main reason is the nostalgic factor of the going in that building again. So that's going to be pretty cool. But it might be a little while. The building is already built. All they got to do is remodel it. So hopefully it won't take that long to get it built. Okay, uh, that's my two cents. God bless y'all and have fun in life. Be safe. Go to school. Graduate. Take care.